meeting. Yes, exactly. The system is broke and I can't feel my face. Is that a good thing? I don't know. You know what? When did I start thinking it was my fault? Is that good? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's like totally the responsible thing to do. And sometimes you have to break a few eggs to do what's right. You know what I mean? Like, do you really want all of his future lovers to suffer the same disease you have? But I thought you said it wasn't a big deal. No, it's totally not a big deal. It's just like, I mean, like in the STD world, I think it's kind of courteous. Well, do you have to do it in person? I don't know, what are the other options? Well, I'm just afraid that if we meet up in person, we're gonna end up having sex. But like, that's okay, because you both already have HPV. God, that's a really good point. You're really in that much of a hurry. Like, hooray, it's the future. It's marriage counseling and global warming and colonoscopies and suddenly you're 80 and you're waiting for your Zoloft prescription at Rite Aid in your sweatpants wondering where's that creeping sense of failure coming from because it all went by so fast and you never wrote that book, you know, or kissed that girl or went to Paris. It's all over and it wasn't even what you wanted. Hey, and it's not going to be perfect. It's the same stupid crap over and over again. It's just like in here. You Erica, I know you expect the best, as you should, and you're gonna get it. Don't worry at all, because there's nothing that could possibly ruin this magical night for you. Awesome. And if you're worried about prom queen, I think you have it in the bag. Nope, not worried about that at all. Damn, girl, I love the confidence. Promise?